Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a large protein molecule folded around for iron atom and it has quaternary structure. Hemoglobin consists of two parts, non-protein part called heme and the protein part called the globin. Heme composed of two main elements, iron and the growth of porphyrin. General structure of hemoglobin C34H32O4N4FE. Hemoglobin develops in cell in the bone marrow that become red blood cells. The red blood cells has by concave disc and the non-nuclear to enable it to carry more oxygen. The RBCs carry oxygen from lung to all tissue and they carry carbon dioxide from tissue to lung and they take it out. When RBCs is normal, it removed from body in 120 days. And if RBCs is abnormal, it removed from body in 10 to 20 days, as in sickle cell anemia. Types of hemoglobin There are three types of hemoglobin, two in adult and one in fetal. The normal adult will have hemoglobin A, which contain alpha 2 and beta 2. Mean 2 alpha and 2 beta in 95 to 98%. And hemoglobin A2, which contain alpha 2 and delta 2. Mean 2 alpha and 2 delta in 2 to 3%. The normal fetal will have hemoglobin F, which contain alpha 2 and gamma 2. Mean 2 alpha and 2 gamma, which found in adult in 1%. Hemoglobinobases. We can classify the various of hemoglobinobases into two categories qualitative and quantitative. First, we can say about qualitative. Which hemoglobin has a defect affecting on the quality of hemoglobin production? Example, sickle cell anemia. We find the defective beta subunit as a result of substitution of glutamic acid with valine at the sixth position. Now, we say about normal hemoglobin. Hemoglobin A. It's made of two normal alpha subunits in below and the two normal beta subunit in green but sickle cell anemia will let represent it like this and this called hemoglobin S and it's made of two normal alpha subunit in blue and two defective beta subunit in yellow and they will rise within the cell like this and this cause normal RBCs to take sickle shape not by concave disc the reason of bi concave disc shape is that to allow the RBCs to bend and fold a little bit when they are going through small blood vessels in body. But if we look at the other hand, we will see RBCs in sickle shape, get stuck in small blood vessels and block them. In treatment we take hydroxyurea, which stimulates the body to produce more hemoglobin F. Because at the higher level of hemoglobin F prevent hemoglobin S from being produced which causes a pathology. Now let's look at another category. Quantitative, which a number of copies of hemoglobin that causes pathology. Let's look at an example of this category, is thalassemia. There are two types of thalassemia, alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia. It occurs due to a lack of alpha and beta production. If alpha production is decreased, with excess beta subunit, it's called alpha thalassemia. And if beta production is decreased with excess alpha subunit, it's called beta thalassemia. We mentioned that alpha subunit is encoded by two genes. Thus, each person has four alleles, two from mom and two from dad. Because of this, there are four variants of alpha thalassemia. Increasing severity from losing one to losing all. For losing one causes no problem, it's okay. For losing two, may present mild anemia. For losing three causes severe anemia, and the patient need two blood transfusion. For losing all, is incompatible with life. Beta thalassemia is only encoded by one gene, so each person has two alleles, one from mom and one from dad. The production of beta subunit is reduced to the severity of the disease, corresponding to the degree of reduction. 
In Blaze beta subunits, the body produces excess delta subunit forming hemoglobin A2, which is made of 2 alpha and 2 delta as we remember. Thus, this amount of hemoglobin A2 is a marker for beta salicylate.